is sacrifice. Is what? Remember that Abraham looked for this child for how many years? 24 years. The child came and God said, give me the child. He still brought the child for sacrifice. Are you going to say? He still brought the child for what? For sacrifice. See, when you begin to serve God based on sacrifice, you are stirring upward a sworn blessing on your life and your generation. Some of the things we do that is, you see, can I, can I go back a little bit this morning? Stop doing things as far as God is concerned because those things are convenient. Begin to do things with God basically based on sacrifice. What you are stirring up and placing on your destiny is a sworn blessing. We are God. I'm not, we're not talking about this one. Somebody will wake up and say, I swear by the Holy Bible. No. We are talking about the almighty God himself taking an oath over your destiny. Now, what do you think when God decides to take an oath over your destiny that man can do to you? What do you think that challenges can do to you? When God himself has decided to take an oath to swear a blessing. You know, people take charm to swear. Take sound to swear. Swear by the name of their father, great-grandfather. God has decided to swear with what? To swear with his name. And he said, the product of that thing I'm swearing with is what? The blessing of God. Church, are you getting what I'm saying this morning? A life of sacrifice. Please make sure that when sacrifice, I mean, I mean, life, or what do I put, situation, or kingdom, let's put it, kingdom, calls for sacrifice. Maybe you need to pay a sacrifice to pray and fast. Don't turn back. Maybe a sacrifice to witness to somebody. Don't turn back. A sacrifice to give. Don't turn back. Why? You are staring up what? A sworn blessing. A sworn blessing. As far as we remain on earth, the name of Abraham will keep raining in our mouth. Just imagine all over the world where people are gathered and people are talking about this man. Just imagine people, anyone that had to preach, anywhere they have to preach today from Genesis, from Genesis chapter number 12 and other places that Abraham was made reference. How many places Thousands of places where the name of this man is on the lips of people. Why? Because of his one blessing. Because of what? His one blessing. That you and I will drive our walk where God will say, see, I swear. Because of this thing, I swear. And listen to me, when, when that one comes, you know that <laughs> you have entered, you have entered not just Guinness book of record, but God's own internal book forever. Sworn blessing. Abraham, for this thing I demanded, and you did not hesitate, I have sworn a blessing. That in blessing, I will bless you. And I will multiply your seed. Remember what we say. Always walk your Christian feet thinking about your seed, your children, your generation. Let no good thing God initiate in your life stop with you. But let it go down to your generation. Hallelujah. Because as far as it goes down your generation, your name is still standing as a pillar. Glory be to God. I say glory be to God. I say glory be to God. Now, look at Deuteronomy. We'll stop there for today. I'm out of time. When we come back, we'll look at something very important. How do we provoke this blessing? How do we do what? Provoke this blessing. There's a creative force on my inside. There is an empowerment on my inside. That empowerment is just, how does it work? 
how does it generate result? Now that we'll say that blessing is not just physical things we see, but the physical things we get are what? The products of blessing. How do we provoke this creative force to generate these physical things that we need in our lives for comfort and to enlarge the kingdom of God? We'll look at that when we come back. But every one of us who are taking an assignment and we'll start with it this morning. Hallelujah. Deuteronomy chapter number 28. Are you there? We're going, to, we're going to read. We're not. We're going to be standing to read it because after reading it, you are going to prophesy it. But let me quickly say this: the blessing of God will work strongly when you first of all carry the consciousness that I am blessed. I'm not cursed. I will mention that more when we come back. But can I tell you something? Look up here. Look up here. Have you checked yourself? There is something, an urgent need you want to settle and that needed like 100,000 naira. And you call somebody and say, can I get 100,000 naira from you? He said, can you give me the next um, 30 minutes I will get back to you. I will send the money to your account. Ladies and gentlemen, and that thing is needs urgency. Between that time the person talked to you and the next 30 minutes, what will be your attitude? Church, answer me. Eh? You become what? You are answered. You are, you are sensitive. Even when MTN decide to send to you that your... <laughs> Amen? When MTN decide to remind you that your mom... What is all those things they used to send? <laughs> Glory be to God. You know, there's something urgent you need to settle. And you, you have gotten this assurance that money is coming. Immediately, even when your phone did not make noise, you carry your phone to check. No, I'm trying to bring something to your notice. Even when your phone, you say, I thought that, I thought that it was a lot. Just keep the phone. Then the one that we pay you is when those network providers decide to send this their funny network text message and the team beeps. You now carry your phone again. You say, oh, what kind of nonsense? In fact, you start even reading insults on them. What kind of nonsense this will do to me like this? What, what are you doing? He's telling you the level of consciousness of that money that is coming in. This is the level we're supposed to work with all the days of our life about the blessing of God. That if you get into a mess in your life, carry the consciousness that even in this mess, I am a blessed child. I carry the blessing of God. But many of us, when we get into some messy situation, we begin to look for prophets. Some of us begin to seek for prophets. Then when they come, they say, okay, it's the cause of your father 10 years ago. Is what your great great grandfather did. I told you at the beginning of this message, all those things can hold water when you have not given your life to Christ or you have not received Christ into your life. Not now that you have been translated from the kingdom of darkness to the kingdom of light. Glory be to God. That consciousness, you, so, you walk into any environment. You walk into any environment. You walk into office. You walk into your business center. Please carry this consciousness. Not only oh, see how the way the business is going. No. There is a blessing in this place. I came into this business, this business uh, center or business environment today with the blessing of God. Hallelujah. I say hallelujah. You see, if you don't do it like that, instead of the blessing to be working, things will tighten up. You think that the the cause is working more than the blessing. Consciousness. Just as you are expecting that money. The need. You need to sort out this need. is very urgent. Every text that comes in. You are, your mind that this money has come in. This money has dropped. It has not dropped to. But you are, you are, you are waiting for it. You are, this is how we, we work with the consciousness. We are supposed to work, work with the consciousness of blessing. You are baiting in, the, in your bedroom. You are baiting with the consciousness of a blessed person. You are, we walk out of your house. You walk out of your house. You walk out with this consciousness that this man that is walking on this road is a blessed man. That's why I first of all cancel your mind that material things are blessed. Material things are the product of blessing. Hallelujah. I say hallelujah. 
Even when you are under desperate situation, it looks as if it is over with your family. Keep reminding yourself, this man is a blessed man. And can I tell you something? A blessed man does not sink easily. It's not very easy for, for you to sink, <laughs> to sink a blessed man. Glory be to God. I said glory be to God. I said glory be to God. So we're going to make a declaration. But it's an assignment. Wake up in the morning. As you are dressing up, you are standing before Miru. Tell yourself, this man that is dressing up is a blessed man. Stepping into the day as a blessed man. You challenge yourself. What you are doing that you are awakening the consciousness of blessing in you. But when you just do as if or everything is against you, the whole world is against you, in, before you know it, you're going to hear a voice that is telling you are cursed. Is the cost they did? Is this one they did? Is it? I told you never subscribe to the gospel of blame, gospel of criticism, gospel of, 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 of hatred and all of that. Where you begin to blame everybody. No. Tell yourself you are blessed. You are dressing up, you are blessed. You are walking on the road, you are blessed. Wake yourself, wake your mind, wake your spirit, wake your soul up with the consciousness of the blessing. Hallelujah. Because if you don't do like that, what is happening in, around your environment, what is happening on your, I mean, within you negatively, we suppress that voice of blessing. But can I tell you something? It is easier to overcome that challenge with the voice of blessing than the voice of, of problem. Glory be to God. Deuteronomy 28, as we stand this morning. I'm a blessed man. I'm a blessed man. I'm a blessed man. I carry the blessing of God. I carry the blessing of God. I carry the blessing. I walk with the blessing. Are you getting what I'm saying? Tell yourself every morning. Tell your children. Tell your children. That one we have established it. Lay your hands on them. You are blessed in this generation. You are blessed in this generation. Your generation, my generation is a blessed generation. Remember what I said. Your mouth activating point of all your kingdom inheritance. So when your mouth can no longer say it, you are in trouble forever. When you are just waiting for who will say it for you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Shall we open there, everybody? Hallelujah. So throughout this season, I didn't say go and cram it. It is very long. Hold your phone. Open it there. Hold your Bible. Open it there and proclaim it over yourself. Hallelujah. Look at that place quickly. Amen. I say amen. amen. Okay, just follow me quickly. It shall come to pass. It shall come to pass. It shall come to pass. As I hearken diligently to the word of the Lord and observe to draw his commandment this day that the Lord will set me on high above all nations. I am set on high. I will never be low in my life. I am set on high in business, in career, spiritually, in my health. I am set on high. And all these blessings, all these blessings shall come to me. Has They have come to me. They've come to me. They will overtake me. They will overtake me because I follow the voice of the Lord. So this morning I declare this morning I declare that I am blessed in the city. In the city of Podakot. Any city I find myself from this day, I declare that I'm blessed. 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 I am blessed in the field. I am blessed in the field. As I step out to pursue my vision, to pursue my business, I am blessed. I am blessed. I am blessed. Blessed is the fruit of my body. Blessed is the fruit of my body. So my health, my body is sound. My body is sound. No sickness is permitted to settle in my body because of the blessing. Because of the blessing. Because of the blessing. The fruit of my body is blessed. The fruit of my body is blessed. From the crown of my head to the soles of my feet. I have sound body. I have sound body. I have vitalized body. I have healthy body because of the blessing of the Lord. Because of the blessing of the Lord. I am blessed. I am blessed. I am blessed. The fruit of my ground. 
the fruit of my ground is blessed the fruit of my ground is blessed which means my business center is blessed my business center is blessed where i do my business is a blessed environment in the name of jesus i am blessed the fruit i am blessed as i'm blessed the fruit of the cattle the fruit the increase of kind and the increase of sheep is my portion so i declare i declare that my career my assignment my vision my ministry is a blessed one in the name of jesus 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 blessed shall be the basket of my store blessed shall be the basket of my store my heavenly father i will never lack to eat i will never lack to drink in my storehouse we enjoy overflow because blessed is the basket of my store in the name of jesus i declare this morning that my going out is blessed my coming in is blessed as i step out daily and come come back daily i shall not eat the bread of sorrow i shall not eat the bread of sorrow but i walk in the fullness of god's blessing in my life in the name of jesus as monday breaks as i step out on monday and i come in on monday i declare bless as i step out on tuesday coming on tuesday i declare bless as i step out on wednesday coming on wednesday i declare bless as i step out on thursday coming on thursday i declare bless as i come in on, on friday go out on friday coming on friday i declare bless as i step out on saturday coming on saturday i declare bless as i go out on sunday coming on sunday i declare bless as i go out on sunday as i've come to worship god as i'm stepping out i am a blessed person i am a blessed person my family is blessed in the name of jesus 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 because of the blessing of god the enemies that decide to come against me in one way they shall scatter in seven ways they shall scatter in seven ways i see every enemy smitten before me i see sickness i see lack i see stagnation i see untimely death smitten before me in the name of jesus god has commanded his blessing upon my storehouse upon my storehouse there's no lack around me i say there's no lack around me there's no lack around me all i set my hand to do is bless all i put my hand to do is bless anything i set this hands open your hands everybody anything i set this hands to do from this day is blessed is yielding blessing in the name of jesus 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 the blessing of the lord the blessing of the lord a blessing of the lord have made me plenteous in good he has made me plenteous in good everything around me is multiplying because of the blessing the lord has opened unto me his good treasure because of the blessing heaven to give me rain in my time in the name of jesus i declare that heaven is giving me the rain of blessing the rain of blessing the rain of blessing because of the blessing of the lord i declare that i'm the head i will never be the tail i will never be the tail i am the head i will never be the tail i am above only i will never be beneath because of the blessing of the lord because of the blessing of the lord because of the blessing of the lord my heritage is the heritage of blessing my heritage is the heritage of blessing our heritage is the heritage of blessing i am blessed 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 every environment i enter is a blessed environment everything around me is turning around everything in my life is turning around because of the blessing because of the blessing because of the blessing my heritage is the heritage of blessing i am not under a curse i am not under a curse i am not under a curse anyone that been sent anyone that been hired to curse me not this he has turned to a blessing 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 i am blessed place your right hand on your forehead everybody father that is the the declaration of the day it's a declaration of this morning and lord as I've, as they've declared holy spirit commanded blessing commanded blessing because of the seed of blessing because of the creative force of blessing men will go off their way 
to be of a blessing to them. 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 The blessing of God rest upon your storehouse. Rest upon your health. Rest upon your children. Rest upon your week. May this week be the week of blessing. I pray that as we get into the month of November, the dimension of manifestation of God's blessing you have not seen before will visit your life. I didn't hear that amen this morning. I said I didn't hear that amen this morning. That whatever thing has been on hold in your life, by the blessing of God it is released. I say by the blessing of God it is released. Everything that has been on hold in your destiny, today the blessing of God has released it for you. In the name of Jesus. 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 Every toiling is commanded to cease because of the blessing. Thank you, Abba Father. In Jesus' precious name. Let me look at nine persons and tell them I am blessed. I am blessed. Make sure there are nine persons. I am blessed and say it that I'm richly blessed. I'm not just blessed, I'm richly blessed. I'm richly blessed. Richly blessed. I'm richly blessed. I am richly blessed. I am richly blessed. In the name of Jesus. Please pick up your tight. I say get your tight card. Hallelujah. Amen. Did it transfer to church account? Can lift up your offering. Everything together as I, as I pray for you this morning. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Lord, for every tighter every giver, I pray that the blessing comes upon their finances. That blessing that make it rich and takes away sorrow, let it invade the lives of your people. Lord, no hand here will be brought down in shame. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' precious name.